Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. For those of you who are new here, my name is Steph and today I'm going to be sharing with you an FYI before you buy on the Ultra Mini platform Uggs. Now, these Uggs, I'm going to get this out of the way. <laughs> Uggs are obviously not vegan. Um, everybody's going to have different opinions of it. Everybody's going to have different opinions on PETA's report, when they read it, all of that sort of stuff. I'm going to go out here and say I am A, not a vegan. B, I wear animal products, I eat animal products, and in my opinion, eating animal products and wearing animal products is using a lot of the animal, as much of the animal as I possibly can across my thing. I am focusing on quality and the sustainability of the materials in my clothing now, and I personally feel that something that is sheepskin, or shearling or leather, something that is natural, that is going to disintegrate, that doesn't have microplastics in it, is much better for the environment and therefore much better for the planet long term than the like raising and you know animal product industry. Because ultimately those are a sustainable resource, whereas plastics, which are fossil fuels, are not, and they don't degrade, so they just linger. So I think that that is better for that reason. <laughs> um, you guys can agree, disagree, whatever, but I think for anybody who wants to um, promote or choose vegan products, please always be aware of the amount of plastic that is actually in your product. If it is something like if it's a cactus leather, is it actually like 100% cactus materials? If it's wood, like all of the sort of stuff, like do your research because just because something is vegan, meaning it's not coming directly from an animal, doesn't mean that it's better for the environment. And thinking that it's better for the environment is actually greenwashing and it's not, you know, e like it's not actually eco-friendly. So I, I would highly recommend everybody do their research into what their vegan products are being made of. This is not a vegan product conspiracy. It's literally a things are sold to us as vegan, meaning it doesn't have animal byproducts, but then they're made with microplast, like with plastic, um, which is also bad for the environment in a different way. So I, I want to bring awareness to this. I want to increase the transparency on this channel about that sort of stuff. And as I am educating myself, reading more, listing more all of this sort of stuff my opinions on this have changed quite a bit um well sort of changed quite a bit but i i am back on the the natural fiber like animal fiber cotton wood whatever like train i think um ultimately i would rather consume things that are going to disintegrate compost like decompose go back to the earth um, then consume things that are going to sit in a landfill for the next hundred years and just being more conscious conscious with that with the amount of plastics that are in my clothes now it's not it's not a zero sum game it's not a zero percent it's just a being more mindful about what I'm consuming and where I'm consuming it from and how much is in it and and that and trying to reduce it where and when I can um, so I'm just, I'm just raising awareness of it. I'm saying, I'm not saying cut it out completely, but I'm saying think about if there is a vegan option, what is that vegan option? And is the vegan option actually the right option or is the animal product option, you know, kind of better? Cause at least part of this is going to disintegrate. Whereas a vegan one, it might not disintegrate at all. Anyways, let's get into the shoes themselves. So these are a hundred and ninety five dollars Canadian. I bought mine from Little Burgundy um, and I use a coupon code for ten dollars off. So I paid one hundred and eighty five dollars before tax with them. I live in Ontario, so my tax is 13 um, percent. If you are curious, if you're not from Ontario, if you're not from Canada, yes, I pay 13 percent tax on things. That is a stunning revelation. Um, so we do pay a high tax, but it's $195 flat, and then you add 13% on top of it. This is the color um, Mustard Seed, I have been told, which is great. It's just called Gray Beige in Canada, but it's called Mustard Seed. And it I got a size 8. Size 8 is my usual size in Uggs. I really like them. I personally would not size down to a size 7. I would 
I have very sweaty feet, my feet are very hot, and throughout the day they swell, and they swell extra because I am a warm foot person. I wore, like, the proof of this is literally yesterday I wore these around the mall, one of the malls where I live, and I was walking through the mall and my feet were just so hot in these shoes and I do wear them with socks I wear them with socks because I don't want them to smell and I don't want to have to clean them all the time and all that sort of stuff apparently you can clean them like fairly easily and apparently a lot of people wear them without socks I just in general I think because I grew up in the like no sock vans era um I think I'm okay with just wearing socks and everything I possibly can now to be honest with you like the no socks Sperry's era was rough it was not good I don't I don't want to repeat it so I wear socks with it now if you're gonna ask me are these good for cold weather yes they're good for cold weather yes you can treat them to be water resistant they're never gonna be waterproof I personally just don't wear my Uggs in bad weather I just wear either like Blundstones or Hunters or other winter boots in true like Canadian winter weather that you can wear your Uggs whenever you want but again I like to say pointed out there is an animal cost to these products so I would really recommend taking care of them so that the animal you know is kind of respected right you're respecting its uh, sacrifice for your fashion game but if you take care of your Uggs they will genuinely last you quite a while they are very well made shoes and they are still pretty affordable I just personally wouldn't go and like try and like wear them all winter long and then like replace them every year I think that that is just a little bit of a waste when you can just take care of them and actually get like a waterproof boot like a blundstone which is gonna you know be a good winter shoe so that sorry the platform it's two inches and it is okay a lot of people said they were really hard to walk in like last year and okay maybe they are but I don't find it um I can see how they are ankle biters definitely with the platform raising your heels it, they're they're they can be kind of tippy I personally think I'm okay with that I I don't know knock on wood maybe I'm just lucky right now maybe I haven't experienced it but I think they're okay like I said I walked around the mall with them yesterday no problem the one thing about the platform is obviously there's not a ton of bend in it so it's good for a couple of things because there's not a lot of bend um but let's talk about the negative of the not a lot of bend first is you're doing a very clunky heel toe so just keep that in mind it's like walking in a pair of like espadrille like wedges espadrilles like that sort of thing it's giving that vibe and so just be aware of it that it's not the most elegant at all times but the good thing about the platform is it keeps the shape of the top of the shoe pretty like crease free because there's not a lot of bend. There is a little bit of pulling down the side here, a little bit of distortion, but on the top, like with my mini Uggs, if you guys have seen that video, there is a pretty good crease. There is none of that with this yet and it's definitely very comfortable, but I don't know I think it just depends on like your comfort walking in heels and in wedges because they are flat they are super comfortable 